Again, this is the Types and Views tutorial section and we are reviewing the WordPress platform using the Types and Views plugins here. Last thing that we did is creating a very smooth page listing our products with a pagination. Now, we already know that if we click the tomato here from our listing, we are going to have a very nice looking tomato based on a view template. What was the view template? It was a specific part of views that allows us to display some information from our metadata created with types and views, such as the taxonomy, some basic data, our product details, or some specific view inside. However, if we go back to our product lister, we would mention that none of the other products is using the same view. We only have the title and the body of our product. Now, what we should do now is actually navigate to every single product and applying the view template there. The problem is that if we have many products, if we have tens of even hundreds of products, it's going to be very time consuming to manually edit our products page and applying this view template to every single product. Now we have a shortcut to handle this. If we get to our dashboard and to views, we could navigate through the settings section. We have different options here. We could assign a view template to different portions of our website. It's going to be the taxonomy view, which is, let's say, our product category, which is the page that lists only fruits or only vegetables and every product which falls in a specific taxonomy. We have a similar thing for a view template in the archive loop and a single view template, which is what we need so far. We need to style every single product item with the view template that we created. Let's use the drop down here and select the product template. If we click Save Changes, we are about to update the page. Now, we have some meta information which says that seven products use a different template. This is the default page template provided by WordPress, which means we could only see the title and the body. If we click Update All Products now, it's going to do all the manual work that we had to do before that, which means that it's going to go to every single product and update the content there. Let's click the save changes and refresh the product lister page. We still have the pagination. We already have the products here, but once we click on some of the products, we will see that we have it styled with the view template that we already got. If we click on some other products, such as the orange one, we will see that we also have this page template applied with all the stylings needed. This was the basics types and views screencast. Stay tuned for new tutorials on types and views.